Hey everybody, it's Lissa with Song of My Heart Stampers. It is good to see you tonight. Is anybody out there stamping or is it just me? <laughs> I am going to show you a technique that I unfortunately did not get to share um, at my team meeting tonight. We were having a online virtual demonstrator meeting for Stampin' Up! Demonstrators and Facebook was just being a putz and I could not get on when it was my turn to demonstrate. So I thought rather than waste my time, um, I would show you guys the technique too. So does that sound like fun? Well, I have to tell you, I opened up these pastels for the first time in like, seriously, four months I've had them and I'm hooked already. I just opened them up at about 4 p.m. today. <laughs> So here they are, and if you know anything about pastels, they're a very, very soft, color-saturated chalk, and they um, they can be very messy, so you may want to have baby wipes handy before we start. But I love the technique, and there's no other way to get this look but pastels, so that's um, a plus of those for sure plus they're not very expensive and this size of pastels will last you forever so you're only going to need a few things um, one is Versamark ink and that is a clear ink mostly used for embossing but also other techniques and we're going to use that tonight the pastels some basic white cardstock and then your favorite stamp set and right now I'm really um, loving this good feeling stamp set. I just love the sending sunshine and this um, saying here that says you're on my mind and in my heart. So cute. So if you've got your Stampin' Up! catalog, the good feeling stamp set is on page 18. Some cute samples there. And then the pastels are on the bottom of page 126 soft pastels assortment and it's only nine bucks so bargain and then the versamark ink pad is just one page over on 129 and versa it's only 950 so there you go not too shabby all right so let's make this one first shall we and then we'll talk through the other ones so this one's where I started today with opening my pastels for the first time and this is the card I came up with I think you'll like it it's so easy so I have my stamp mounted and forgive my awkward stamping here I'm still wearing my brace I'm still dealing with the tenosynovitis there we go and you're like oh, I can't see what you just stamped well that's because it's clear ink remember it's a very clear very sticky ink and um, you can either drop embossing powder on it now or you can start rubbing pastels on it. So one quick tip before we start our pastels, let me grab a scrap piece here. They are um, coated with a little bit of a residue on the top, which makes them um, cleaner to handle. But you want to scrape that off of this end that you're going to use. So I don't know if you can see the sides are dark. And then the end is a little bit lighter and that's because we scraped off that I don't, I don't know if it's residue or what it is but it's it's um it's meant to leave your hands a little cleaner and you'll want to get that scraped off before you start okay so i am going to use the purple the dark blue the apple green and then the turquoise so i'm going to very lightly draw my um, pastel across just the bottom set of words and then just use my finger to blend that chalk you can add a little more color if you want isn't that pretty it's pretty already okay this is the end I'm using so whatever you do you don't want to be um, hard with it like you're trying to write with it just very lightly smoosh it across smoosh being the technical term right oh it's so pretty i love that apple green it's so summery sweet and finished with my favorite turquoise there we go 
and you can just blend to your heart's content and it is the softest and most beautiful color hopefully you can focus on that isn't that pretty so gorgeous so then i just backed mine with some uh soft sea foam is this light green and a little coastal cabana which is really close to this color here and some little gems and it's done easy and so much fun to do all that blending love that so that was my first card and then my second idea was this one and this one took a little bit more skill i will have to say so um first i stamped the you're on my mind and in my heart with the birthmark ink in the upper center of my cardstock and then this is where your heart drawing skills will have to come into play so i used orange because that's they don't have any red shade isn't that interesting there's no red or pink shade here um so orange is pretty too and i drew a heart <laughs> And I did kind of purposefully draw this one a little bit harder, pressing a little bit more than my other card. And then I'm going to smoosh that around. You'll see why I wanted to have baby wipes handy. <laughs> Look at my finger. <sighs> and you can blend that in as much as you want or as little as you want. And then just lightly going over the center to bring out the rest of the sentiment. Isn't that cool? You could not get that with ink. Not without many, many um, labor intensive minutes. So then I added some yellow. And you can just play with that. I think it looks better the less you do. This one, I went around it with some yellow on the outside, and I actually like this better where there's plenty of white showing. So leave me a comment and tell me if you like the, the cleaner one better or the one that's a little softer and more faded. And then if you like the, um, the way the scribble lines look under there, by all means, go back and do them again. So that they stand out <laughs> it's so fun i could keep doing this okay i'll stop anyway that's the other technique and then let me follow my own advice and get my baby wipe here all right this one is super cute and all i did for that was take the versamark ink and stamp my saying. It says, I'm just so happy for you. Um, at an angle here. It's so funny. It's such a shock after all these years of stamping for me to lift up and that you can't see any ink because it's clear ink. It just shocks me every time. I'm a slow learner. What can I say? All right. And then I'm going to... Oh, I just love it. It's just like magic. Cool. Just love it. You can blend to your little heart's content. Oh, I used green. Oops. Well, this one's going to be a little different. It's going to be a yellowy green, <laughs> a very, very spring green color. There you go. Okay. And then that made me kind of think of a rainbow. So then on my card, I added the cloud punch and then it needed some sort of embellishment. So I came up with these little um, parakeet party enamel dots to kind of, um, bring the rainbow over but it could be left just as it is too that would be cute 
I'm going to mess with it. I'm famous for doing just one thing too far. The one, one more thing that just wrecks it. <laughs> uh, but you know what? If you never experiment, you never learn anything new. And it's only paper, right? See, and it turned out. That's cute. And so fast. Am I right? So fast. Okay, here's the piece de resistance. So we've learned some basic pastel techniques, right? I should be putting these back here so that they don't get messy. Um, so we've learned some basics. And then you can take it up a notch too by adding embossing. So in this um, instance, I embossed my sentiment in silver. Can you see how pretty that is? Wow, so pretty. And I spent some of my carefully hoarded uh, little clear epoxy hearts that we used to carry <laughs> coming down from the, the cloud punch again. So let's learn to make that. So I'm going to start with my basic white cardstock again. No specialty cardstock is needed for this. And you're not going to do any stamping first. We're going to do our background before we do any stamping. So it looks like I started the rainbow down in the corner here and went up there okay and i can already tell i pushed a little too hard when i was doing that so that one might have a line there's our darker color light and we're keeping the same angle the same curve as we go this is going to remind you of kindergarten very much so. Okay, are we ready to do the blending? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, look at that. It's just so soft and so well blended. Oh, I forgot the purple. <laughs> Gotta have the purple and the rainbow, right? Oh, so pretty. I hope you guys try these pastels. They're only $9. That is good, cheap fun in my book. And like, like I said, you can use them just by themselves. You can use them with the Versamark or you can do the heat embossing, which I'm going to do next. And I'm going to sneak peek a new product too while we do it. Do you recognize this? That's right. These powder trays are back from Stampin' Up. They will be available July 1st. And they come with the coolest tool. This looks like, I don't know, a saber-toothed tiger uh, claw here. But it's actually a really cool pair of embossing tweezers. And it allows you to hold the paper without damaging the cardstock. And without um, heating up when you're doing heat embossing. So isn't that cool? So this won't get nearly as hot as metal tweezers would. I love that. All right, but before we demonstrate the tray, for those of you who are not familiar with the um, powder trays, let's do our stamping first. So we are getting a lot of mileage out of our Versamark pad tonight. I'm stamping directly over the rainbow that I just created and then sprinkling embossing powder and i chose silver so that it would stand out and be a good contrast from my um, rainbow so this is what the powder trays do they're just genius for this you this is not ruined embossing powder then you can recycle it by just um, tipping it back into the container and oops i did spill leave it to me to spill no matter what right it also comes with this cool brush to make sure you get every last bit of the powder down and back into your tub so you're going to save money on the embossing powder because you will be able to recycle so much of it with these new trays very cool don't ask me the price because i can't remember but i promise it's worth it um, because this is a must-have tool. 
And before I have an accident, I'm going to put the lid back on my embossing powder. All right. Oh, I shouldn't have set that right on my um, project because this powder hasn't been set yet, right? So I've got the heat tool and I'm going to use it on the top setting so it's good and hot. And it'll take just a minute here. And then we'll see the magic happen. There we go. Can you see it? That powder is actually little tiny metal shavings. And uh, they might be plastic shavings. I guess I don't know for absolutely sure. And they are melting under the intense heat in the shape that we stamped. Okay, looks good. Now it can buckle the paper a little bit, but that will smooth right back out as it cools down. If you want to put something heavy on it and wait for it, that's fine too. Look at that. So pretty. Everyone will be amazed that you made that. That is so professional looking. All right, and then don't forget to add the cloud punch to your order because. You can't have rainbows without clouds, right? And versa mark, pastels, and treat yourself to the new embossing trays when they come out on July 4th or July 1st. All right, that's it for me tonight. I hope you've enjoyed these different techniques. If you need a catalog, just email me at lissa at songofmyheartstudios.com and be happy to set you up with a catalog. And then if you'd like to do some shopping and get those pastels and other things for yourself, uh, my address is lissa.stampinup.net. And I'll just ask that you double check that you're shopping with me in the um, upper left-hand corner of your website because I've had a little bit of trouble with orders going to other demonstrators. When they start shopping with me, somehow it, it switches over to other demos. So just make sure you know who you're shopping with, whether that's me or someone else. All right. Thanks so much for watching tonight. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll just have to tell my team they missed they missed a demonstration and they can come over to my Facebook page if they want to see it too. Good night, everybody.